here is my 1998, I mean 1988 to 1990 green and white or aqua and white air zero graft turbo fan. Now um, I made a video of this in 2020. This is just going to be a, um, a 2021 touch up re video if you will on this. Nothing much has changed. Um, it needs to be cleaned. I'm going to have to clean it soon. Um, now this is one of my favorite fans I have in my collection. And the first reason why is this is the fan that started my interest for fans. Um, this originally belonged to my grandparents, but what happened is that they ended up letting me take it, um, uh, like, probably about three years ago. Um, so what happened was that when I was around one or two years old, I saw this in one of the bedrooms that they had at their old house, and... My eye caught sight of it, and I loved the way that the um the green and white accents looked. So yeah, and then that's how my interest in fans began. And then when they let me have this three years back, it was one of my fa I was really happy about that. Second reason is these are very good fans in general. They have high quality plastic. They this one is very interesting looking, and they move a lot of air. Third reason is I love the sound that these things make. They have a nice um, D major humming sound to them, and I think it sounds really nice, especially on the low speed, not on the high speed. So yeah, um, there's the Air Duracraft logo. Duracraft was originally formed in 1988, and then they originally started in with the um, the brand name Air Duracraft. And then in 1994, I think, they switched over to just being called Duracraft. And then in 1988, Honeywell bought out Duracraft. So yeah, here's the, um, the front of it. It's got your typical C-frame shaded pole motor. And then here's the side of it. And then on the white, you know, it's got, I mean on the back, it's got the nice white accents. Then here's the back, Duracraft Corporation. It's from 1988 to 1990, like I said. Um, yeah, it's a really nice looking fan, I think. Um, one of the things I really like about it is that it's got the, um, the little wheel underneath here. Now, this is also, additionally, one of the rarest fans I have in my fan collection. These were sold only, like, two years, I think, um, at Kmart and Sears. So yeah, um, let me go ahead and turn this on now. What here is low. Yeah, I really like the low speed on this. It has a nice sound, it pushes a nice breeze does need some oil. I gotta put some oil in here sometime soon. In the motor. Then here is high. It gets significantly louder and pushes a significantly more air. Here is off. So yeah, thank you for watching and over now.